of this in this little bag. Here's how. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about this Brevite rucksack bag. First of all, I want to start by thanking my friend Rafe for letting me borrow the bag on my recent trip to Puerto Rico. There's no video on that unfortunately, but I will be going back and be doing some awesome stuff. There are a couple good things and a couple bad things about this bag. Overall, it's a very solid bag and uh, let's just get started into the features that it offers. Alright, so let's get into it. The first thing that you'll notice is the RS on the bag right here. This is not something that comes with every single bag. This is specific to my buddy as his name is RS. Those are his initials. Uh, this Brevite logo here does come with every single bag that you will order. So the first thing that I, I, I want to get into is a pro and a con. Uh, I really like how you have a magnetic opening here. The one thing that I don't like about it, uh, you know, it, it's horrible to start with a con in a video, but you know, I really got to get into it. The magnet of this bag doesn't lock in when you want it to lock in. So if I try to see that I would get this every every time and I would just be finicking with this just to get that truly locked in but once it's locked in everything is nice and everything is cool these two little buckles at the bottom of the bag are actually meant for you to put your tripod there I was a little confused about this uh, when I first got the bag but after doing a little further research I was able to figure out what exactly it was for and that's a nice little feature that they've added to the bag right here and you can see that it fits my gorilla pod nice and snug on the left side of the bag, you'll notice a water bottle pocket, but you'll also see a little buckle. This buckle is also great for a gorilla pod or a small tripod that you can just fit right here. And for demonstration purposes, you can see that the tripod fits in nice and snug. On the right side of the bag, you'll see a stitching of whatever you want right here, or your initials, whatever it may be. This is the part of the bag where you can access your camera. Uh, it opens up straight into the co compartment where you're leaving your camera so you can have quick access to that, which is always great. <laughs> Now let's actually open it up. Inside the magnetic portion of the bag, you have multiple different compartments. You can put stuff right here, but you also have slot compartments for uh, possibly lens cleaners. This is a perfect area to put SD cards. You can put little chargers or batteries into the other compartments as well. So you've got three sections, uh, and one of the sections includes uh, your little slots for SD cards. The top, you have a little zipper. You can put your passport, your wallet, uh, anything small in there will fit fine. Your charger, it all works fine. Now when you open the top, this is where you would put your clothes, your laptops, your, your, your accessories, and all that stuff right there. This small compartment right here opens up. Uh, this, is, this is where I put my socks, toothbrushes, boxers. This is a, the, the portion where you would put your, your clothes. It's expandable, so you can make your bag a little bigger than it already was. If you look real closely into the bag, there's a little flap right here. This is where you can go ahead and hide your laptop or just keep your laptop or keep safe. And don't worry, it's not that hard to take your laptop off when you have a bunch of clothes in here. I actually was able to fit three days worth of clothes in here, as well as take out the laptop to go through the TSA. The straps are nice. You have a little buckle to wrap it around your waist and really tighten that down. One thing I really like about this bag is it has a designated cap buckle. Unfortunately, it is only fit for a 58 millimeter lens cap. Again, if you haven't lost your lens cap though. But if you're like me and you don't have a 58 millimeter lens cap on every single one of your lenses, it also has a specific compartment right in the back that you can just stick your lens into, right there. It's also got another little buckle right here that you can just keep nice and tidy around your chest area. That's always convenient to have. And now I save the best for last. Where do you keep your actual camera that would, I've been wondering this the entire time. Well, let me tell you because <laughs> you've been so patient. <laughs> okay, so under the magnetic portion of your camera bag, you, you wanna see that camera. Bag. Under the magnetic portion of your camera bag, there is another zip. <sighs> I know, it's so magnificent. This is actually where you're going to keep all your camera equipment. Look at this, this is gonna be so great. Oh, wow. So you can fully customize how you want these compartments to go. I've set it for my camera for while I was traveling. You put your camera here, you can open it up from this side. Um, I put some lenses here, two lenses and a telephoto lens here and I put my camera charger right there. It fit everything perfectly. Before I forget, the camera compartment where you actually can hide your camera is removable. So this little guy can turn into its separate little backpack for the day. Now, unfortunately, and probably one of my biggest nitpicks on this bag is that you can take it out, 
but no one is gonna be holding a bag like this all freaking day. That's the one thing that I would say you guys would need to fix is, is, is to, to get a little strap here where you can actually put it on your back. Now that we're done looking at the bag, here's my honest opinion on it. Is it a great bag? Absolutely. I was able to fit an entire suitcase's worth of clothes and accessories. And on top of that, I was able to fit my camera gear. So that is always a plus in a, a travel backpack of such. My biggest issue with this backpack is the external carrying case with all of your gear. It has no strap for you to put on your waist and no strap for you to put on your shoulders. So if you really wanna carry it, you're gonna have it in your hand the entire time. And if it's not in your hand, it's gonna be in the backpack, but no one wants to carry around a backpack with all of your clothes, with all your toothbrush and your toothpaste and you know your laptop and your camera, like mics and SD card kit. Like no one wants that on their back the entire time that they're traveling. With all that said and done, it is an incredible bag and I totally recommend buying it if it fits all of your needs. If you made it this far into the video, I want you to go ahead and leave a comment and I want that comment to say monkey butt. <laughs> Yeah, monkey butt, that's funny. <laughs> I like it. And now I'm gonna go ahead and change my shirt and record another video and act like I recorded it on two separate days. But most people won't even know that because they won't even see this part of the video. So monkey butt your way out of here. But leave a like first and then, and then monkey butt your way out of here. See ya. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one, bye.